Trust your first impression. What do you see in your mind's eye? Well, what I ended up with was uh, just outer space. Outer space, beautiful. So let's go drifting through outer space and let's find out what's there. Describe to me what you see. Stars, colors. Mm-hmm. What colors do you see? Yellows. Mm-hmm. Whites. Reds. Where do you see these colors? Where do I see them? Mm-hmm. They're like wispy clouds. Mm-hmm. Do these wispy clouds of colors have anything in it? Perhaps any solid things in it? Or are they just colors? Look around. See if you see any stars within these colors. I don't see stars. What do you see? I see sparkles. All right, so let's find out what those sparkles really are. Since you're in outer space, I imagine you can move in outer space. So I'd like for you to begin moving. Just feel yourself going through outer space. And tell me as you begin to move, what you experience. Um, it's fun. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm rolling. Mm, wonderful. What happens next as you roll? Where do you go? I see this, like, um, constellation, this, this person that's outlined, mm -hmm. white lines. Yes. Tell me about this person that's outlined. I don't know if it's a person or... A constellation. Mm -hmm. Trust your impression. What's the first thing that pops into your mind? Oh, Orion. Orion. Very good. So let's go towards Orion. Allow yourself to continue going there. And tell me what you see along the way. I'm just rolling mm -hmm. and laughing. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you have a physical body or any type of other body as you roll? Through? It's kind of a body. Mm -hmm. Describe this body for me. What does it look like? It's like clear, translucent. Mm -hmm. I think I'm a man. Mm -hmm. You're a male energy? Mm-hmm. I'm just laughing. Mm -hmm. So can you can you move in any direction? I'm moving everywhere, yeah. Good. So allow yourself to get near that constellation. Feel yourself getting closer and closer. And let's see where this adventure heads us to. Where does it lead us to? What do you see next? Um, I just see a bright star a in bright. the distance. Mm -hmm. Does this star have a color? White. Mm -hmm. What's interesting about this star? Not much. Not much. Do you feel anything from the star? Connect with it. No. Do you sense anything? Um, joy and, and love. Mm -hmm. Joy and love. It's got its... Well, I see open arms, but I still see a star. Mm -hmm. So it's opening... The star's opening its arms to you? Yeah, literally arms. Mm -hmm. So what's it asking you to do with those open arms? Be joyful. Mm-hmm. Does that resonate with you? I'm just very happy. Yes. So let's continue floating through that and tell me what happens next. What do you see next? I see crystals. Crystals? Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm on the planet and I see crystals just sticking up mm -hmm. every which way. What color are these crystals? 
I can't tell. Mm. But they're all over. Yeah, they're sticking up haphazardly. Mm. Are they big crystals? No. Or small crystals? They're small. Mm -hmm. What does this planet look like? It looks just like a crystal planet mm -hmm. with no atmosphere. I just see black. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what you're doing on this crystal planet. Do you feel you have a body now? What do you feel like on this planet? Energy. Energy. Very good. So as energy, you can now float to any area. Let's, let's discover a little bit more about this planet. What's the significance of all these crystals? I don't know. I don't see color. Mm -hmm. Do you feel anything from these crystals? Connect with them. Find out what you're there doing. I feel joy. Mm -hmm. Happy. Mm -hmm. It's a dismal looking place. Mm -hmm. So even though the place is dismal looking, you still feel joy. Yeah, I feel it right in my heart. Mm -hmm. Is that joy coming from you, or is it something that's with the planet too. Where do you feel that that joy is coming from? Is it yours? Um, I can't tell. Mm -hmm. I know it's part me. Yes. So let's get more information. What happens next after you see these crystals? Well, I see some I see some white, yellowish light now, mm -hmm. somewhere. It looks like the sun rising. Mm -hmm. What happens once the sun rises? Does this change your perspective at all? I see salamanders. Salamanders, very good. Slithering. Mm -hmm. What does the surface of this planet look like besides the crystals? Just all crystals. Hmm. I don't even know how I'm walking on it. <laughs> Take a look at your feet and see if you have feet. I don't see feet. Mm -hmm. Or do you, are you just drifting through this? Or do you feel you're actually walking? I'm not walking. Mm, okay, good. What do you see besides the salamanders? A single flower, just, mm -hmm. just. I don't see any color in it. Mm -hmm. What do you imagine you're doing on this planet? Harvesting. Mm. For what? Joy. <laughs> Good. So you just enjoy being here? It's welcoming. It's welcoming. Very good. Is there anything particular on that planet that makes you even more joyous? No. no. I, don't, I don't know why it's so happy. Mm -hmm. Well, let's find out what it is that you're doing there. And let's 
go on to another scene to see what happens next. I'd like for you to close that scene like a book and we'll open up another scene in that same lifetime when something is happening. I see sunshine and trees and mm -hmm. green. And mm -hmm. Is this the same place? I don't know. Mm. How does it feel? Use your knowing and see if this is the same place or a different place. What is this place? Same place. Mm -hmm. The other side. Uh -huh. This side is totally different. The sun shining. Mm. What do you imagine makes these two sides so different? Were you just in a different area of the planet? So let's see what happens in this place with the sunshine and trees and green. What happens there? What do you experience? There? I don't see people. Mm -hmm. Just okay. I see grass. Mm -hmm. I see palm trees. Mm -hmm. I see sun. I just saw deer. I see flowers. I hear happiness. Mm -hmm. Where is this happiness coming from? Is it coming from everywhere? Everywhere. Mm -hmm. Are you connecting with all of that that you see? I don't know, my heart just feels so full. Mm -hmm. What happens next? What do you see next? I see a cart coming down the road. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this doesn't make sense. That's okay. What's this car? It's a like an old hay wagon. A hay wagon. Mm -hmm. Pulled by a horse. Mm -hmm. There's a guy with reins and a whip, mm -hmm. hay. What do you feel from the from that? Nothing. Do you feel the same joy as you felt before? No. No. Let's see what's happened. What's changed? Where did the joy go? Where did you lose that joy? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Let's pinpoint it. Let's find out where that joy was lost from being so welcome and joyous to not. What's the difference? I'm not seeing anything. Very good. All right. So let's close that scene. And now let's go to another scene where something important is happening. Feel yourself being there now. Where are you? I'm in a dungeon. In a dungeon. Mm-hmm. Castle. In a castle. Tell me more. I see chains and bars mm -hmm. and an old keg. Do you feel you have a body there? Mm, I think I do. All right, so let's take a look at your body and tell me what it looks like. Rags. Rags. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like I have like a witch's face. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel there? 30. Mm -hmm. A 
Let's find out what you're doing in this place. Well, the guy's coming towards me with a, a staff with a... <sighs> looks like a sickle. Mm-hmm. What does this guy look like? He's got a helmet on. And mm -hmm. He looks like, you know, old England. Mm-hmm. How do you feel? I, d I can't tell. Just resigned, I think. Mm-hmm. So let's see what happens next. He uh, grabs me. Mm-hmm. What are you feeling or thinking as this is happening? The opposite of joy. Mm -hmm. Do you know why you're there? No, I have chains on my feet. Mm -hmm. Why am I there? Let's find out why you're there. Let's close that scene and go further back in life before you were there. I see a haystack. Haystack, very good. Is this where you live? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So tell me where you live. What does it look like? <sighs> I see a field and horses and a barn. Mm -hmm. I'm a surf. Mm -hmm. Are you male or female? Male. Male. Mm -hmm. How old are you there? 20, 23, 25. Mm -hmm. And what do you do there? I'm pitching hay. Tell me more. How do you feel about your life? Hmm. I'm not unhappy. Mm -hmm. I don't, I feel neutral. Mm -hmm. So let's find out a little bit about you. I just gritted my teeth though. Mm -hmm. Why is that? I guess I'm not happy. Mm -hmm. So let's see where it is that you live. England. Mm -hmm. And let's go to the place where you live. It's it's a straw thatched mm -hmm. hut. Mm -hmm. Do you live by yourself? My mom. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Tell me about your life with your mom. Well, she cooks. Mm -hmm. Sweeps the floor. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Mm, I, I see a fire. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this fire. What catches on fire? The fireplace mm -hmm. goes up the fireplace. What happens next? Catches the thatch on fire. We, we have destroyed. Uh, to, we made whoever mad. Tell me more. Let's find out who you made mad.
what's happening? The owner? The owner. Mm -hmm. Is this the landowner? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why is he mad now? We destroyed his property. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened to my mother. Are you by yourself now? Yeah, they're coming to get me. What do they look like? Just regular old people. Mm -hmm. Guys. And they put chains around my waist. What happens next? Where do you go? Um, I need to get put in a wagon. Mm -hmm. Tell me everything that happens along So this is medieval England. Mm -hmm. What year is it? <sighs> You'll know. No. 1732? Mm-hmm. Did that sound right? No. See it. As if it were written. 1300. 1300. Mm -hmm. Does that feel right? That's what I saw. Good. So what happens now? Where do they take you in this wagon? Mm. What do you see? I just saw, I just saw me burned at the stake. Mm -hmm. That's ridiculous. Don't use any judgment. What happened next? Did you leave your body? Yeah. All right. I'm I'm over it. Mm-hmm. So let's find out what it is. Uh-huh. What's what are you looking at? Fire. Mm-hmm. It seems that they fought fire with fire, didn't they? Yeah. Mm-hmm. How does that make you feel? I don't really feel anything. Very good. So let's leave that scene then. Allow yourself to drift out of that body. And let's see where it is that you go. Where do you go next? I'm out in the sky again. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to be out in that sky again? I'm laughing again. Mm -hmm. I'm just laughing, rolling. Mm -hmm. The joy has come back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So where do you go huh. this time? Where do you visit now? I don't see myself visiting anywhere. All right. So tell me what you're experiencing. Well, I see a waterfall. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this. It feels like Hawaii. Mm -hmm. I see butterflies. Tell me more. Uh, 
What do you see? I saw a person coming out behind a waterfall. Mm -hmm. What do they look like? It's like a, a native. Mm -hmm. How does it feel? Well, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Is it male or female? It's male. Mm -hmm. I think I'm a female. Mm -hmm. Look down at your feet. Yeah, they're little. How are you dressed? Uh, I have a skirt of cloth. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Yeah, a necklace. Mm -hmm. What does your hair look like? It's long and dark. Mm -hmm. How old are you? I'm young. So what are you doing by this waterfall today? And just enjoying it. Mm -hmm. Are you by yourself? No, this guy mm -hmm. came out. Do you know this man? I don't know, I'm not afraid of him. Mm -hmm. but let's find out who he is and why he's there. Who is this man? I don't know. Mm -hmm. So allow the scene to progress. Let's find out what happens there. We're walking down a path. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What happens there? It's towards a, a hut. I see kids. Mm -hmm. Running around. I see the water. The sun off the water. A nice breeze. I think I'm happy. Mm -hmm. Are these your kids? I don't know. Let's find out. Use that inner knowing. Let's find out who they are and who this man is. Yeah, I think they're my kids. Mm -hmm. This man is my husband. I don't know who he is, so I can't see his eyes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can't see the eyes, but you can recognize the soul. Does he feel familiar? Yeah, he feels like my husband. Mm -hmm. Here. Yes. So let's find out what happens next. What's important about this? Community, mm -hmm. a happy life, happiness. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's close that scene and then let's progress in that same lifetime until you're a little older and something is happening. Be there now. Around a fire. Everybody's just laughing. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel there now? Forty. Mm -hmm. Who's in your life now? My husband. Mm -hmm. My children are, are grown. This is a whole community. It's a good feeling. Mm. Mm-hmm. Everyone works together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. So now let's go.
closing that scene to the last day of your life in that lifetime. Well, I got gray hair. Mm -hmm. Lying down. Hmm. What do you experience? My children were around me. I feel happiness. What are you thinking about on this last day of your life? I love my children. It was a great life. Mm -hmm. Very good. So now let's move forward to the last moment of your life. Take your last breath there and allow your soul to leave that body. And tell me what happens. Where do you go as a soul? I see. I'm with a bunch of white people, mm -hmm. men. They're all laughing. What do they look like? They look like clear people, white outlines. Hmm. Kind of white. Mm -hmm. I'm laughing with them. We're having a good time. How many do you see? I see three, plus me. Mm -hmm. Where are you? <laughs> what are you experiencing? It's just everybody's laughing. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what everybody's laughing about. They're just happy. They're patting me on the back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's find out who these three people are. Connect with them, mind to mind and soul to soul. Who are they? I feel so much love for them. I don't know who they are. Mm. Do you imagine these are your friends? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or yeah. family? No. Friends? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What is the purpose of this meeting today with them? Why are you together laughing? They're welcoming me back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just all I hear is laughter. It's so funny. Mm -hmm. Happiness and joy. It's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Very good. So what happens after you meet with them? with your friends. What do you do next? Um, I see a table and these um, women standing in front of a table. Mm -hmm. This is beings sitting in chairs with high backs. Mm -hmm. How many are there? Seven. Mm -hmm. I see them with some colors, green. Are these light beings? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do they have any type of attire? Or are they just light? I'm having trouble seeing them. Mm -hmm. I mostly see the chairs and I know something's in them. Perfect, that's okay. So let's find out who these beings are. Council? The council. Mm -hmm. Where are you before the council today? I'm asking my God, why am I here? Mm -hmm. He's on my left. Mm -hmm. Is your guide male or female? He's male. He looks like a monk. Like a monk? Mm -hmm. Does he have a name? Ah, uh, Fred. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 How does Fred feel to you? Is he a jolly monk? He is. Mm -hmm. He's got the shaved head. Yes. He He's not white. Hmm. What color is he? He's brown. A brown monk. Mm -hmm. So why has Fred brought you here to the council today?
I'm going to go to another life. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. I, I heard Florence Nightingale and I don't know. I know why that came up. Mm -hmm. Tell me. So I was told I was one of her nurses mm -hmm. previously. Mm -hmm. So what did he say? I don't know. What happens next? Allow yourself to connect mind to mind. What feelings are you getting about this meeting? They're supportive. Mm -hmm. There's so many of them. Hmm. How many do you see? I see seven of them. Yes. Do they all speak at the same time? I don't know. I, I don't get anything from them. Mm -hmm. So allow yourself to connect with pictures and see if they send you pictures as to what you're supposed to be doing in this next life. I see cannons. Mm -hmm. I see guns and got smoke and mm -hmm. soldiers. And, and what is the purpose of this next life? Heal. To heal. To heal others or to heal yourself? Others. Others. No. Very good. Do they say anything else or give you any other impression? Got a pat in the back. Mm -hmm. No. Is this pat in the back like you can do this? <laughs> <laughs> or good luck? <laughs> How did it feel? I think it was good luck. Good luck. Okay. Is there a reason why you're given this challenge of this new life? Learn to heal. Mm -hmm. I'll need it. Okay. So let's find out what happens after this council meeting. <sighs> Where do you go? Down this little tunnel. Mm -hmm. White tunnel. A little white tunnel. Where does it lead to? France? Mm -hmm. Tell me more. I'm in a bu with a bunch of people, women that have white duster black caps, mm -hmm. old dresses. What color are these dresses? Are they light or dark? Mm, they're darkish. Mm -hmm. White aprons. What do all these women do? I see them in a like a hospital. Mm -hmm. A whole bunch of people lying on gurneys. Do you feel that you have a body there? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Tell me what you look like. Hmm. I'm one of them. Mm. I saw blonde hair and I saw dark hair, so mm -hmm. I don't know. Imagine you have a spiritual mirror in front of you and you can reflect back. What do you look like? I see blonde hair. Mm -hmm.
blue eyes. I'm working with the other people, with these people, with the other nurses. Mm -hmm. Do you enjoy what you do? In a, in a sense, mm -hmm. I like order and cleanliness. And Setting things right. Mm -hmm. How does that help you in your profession? Um, it's more healthy. Mm -hmm. Are the others like that too? Or just you? No, we're all like that. Mm -hmm. Well, tell me what happens. It's a war. Mm -hmm. What do you do there? I'm helping. Um, I'm still in the same spot. But now I, now I went out on the street, mm -hmm. cobblestones and breath of fresh air. Tell me what's going on outside. Mm. Um, they're just bringing more men in. My horse, on a carrot crate, mm -hmm. whatever it is. How does that make you feel when you see all of these? Actually, I don't feel anything. Mm -hmm. I, I I feel a little stressed. Mm -hmm. Is there anything important from that scene? No. All right, so let's close that scene and let's open up the scene to a time when something is and happening, something very important that impacts your life. Hmm. It's almost like I've seen this before. Mm -hmm. I, I'm... There's two things. I'm, si I'm, I'm in a room looking out. I don't think I'm well. Then I see lace doilies, lace caps. I've seen this before. Mm -hmm. So let's find out where you are. I'm in England. Mm -hmm. What do your surroundings look like? I'm in a room, in a home. How old do you feel there? Oh, middle-aged. Mm -hmm. How does your body feel in this place? What's going on with it? Um, well, I just saw myself coughing up blood. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm well. What do you imagine is wrong with you? Consumption? Mm -hmm. Are you by yourself or are there others with you? I don't see anybody. Mm -hmm. How do you feel there? Lonely. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what happens next. Fast forward to the next important scene. 
happens to you. Lying in a bed. Are you alone or with others there? Let's at night as you candle. Mm -hmm. I think there's others there, but I don't know who. What do you imagine is happening there? I think it's a doctor. Mm -hmm. going to now touch your shoulder. When I touch your shoulders, you'll be able to open your eyes. I'll take the microphones off. You'll remain in this trance, and when you come back, you'll actually go deeper. Open your eyes. And you can begin seeing the rest of the scene. Be there now. There, but mm -hmm. would you like the stones to help you? Mm -hmm. Allow them to help you focus even more. So let's find out what's going on there. What's the importance of this scene? And I'm, I'm sick. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I can't tell. Mm -hmm. Now, knowing that you helped heal so many people, how does it feel like to be sick and not being able to heal yourself? It doesn't bother me. Okay. Good. So let's move forward now. Closing that scene, move forward to the last day of your life. And tell me what's happening. Where are you? Be there now. I'm sitting in a chair, a rocking chair. Mm -hmm. In front of a fireplace. How old are you? I see gray hair, mm -hmm. but not a whole lot. Mm -hmm. I think what fifty. Mm -hmm. Cold. Mm -hmm. And I just. I don't know. Mm -hmm. All right, so leave that body, transition out of that body, feel yourself on that last <laughs> breath. Tell me what happened. I'm up with those guys again. Uh huh. Oh, they make me happy. What do they tell you now? A lot of back slapping, and it's just like the good old guys. Mm -hmm. Good job. And <sighs> Let's find out what happens next. Do you get to see Fred again? <laughs> Not until you mentioned him. Uh huh. But yeah, he's there. What does Fred tell you? Time to move on. Mm hmm.
Where do you go next? Where does he take you? I go back to that table. Mm -hmm. I don't know where I go. Is there anybody at the table now? One person? Mm -hmm. I see all the chairs, but just one. Let's find out who that one person is. Source? Mm -hmm. Would Source be willing to answer some of the questions that we brought here today? Sure. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Why did you show her these lifetimes? The first one being the one of her being on this crystal planet. She's happy there. Mm -hmm. What is that crystal planet? Is it far away? Far away. Mm -hmm. Does she go there often? No. No. Do you have anything else to tell her about that crystal planet? Happy place. It's a happy place. Does she need to be in a happy place? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why did you show her the one of the man being burned at the stake? Things aren't always as bad as you think. Because it's an illusion. So is this whole life an illusion? Oh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So what does that mean in her life now? I don't take things so seriously. Mm -hmm. Good. What about the Hawaiian life? Happy. Mm -hmm. Idyllic. So she's had some of those lives? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How is that affecting her now? Needs to see it. Mm -hmm. Will she be able to pull in some of that peace from that life when she needs it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> what are you showing? I don't know. I'm just happy. Good. What about the council? She she keeps going back to this council. Yeah. Who are these beings on the council? Guides? Mm hmm Do they help her? Sometimes. Mm hmm It almost feels like she's going to the principal's office when she's going <laughs> to the council. What's going on there? That she needs her her guide Fred with her. Yes, she does. Mm -hmm. She's she needs to tone it down. Mm -hmm. So how can what should she feel about the guides, the council? They look stern, but they're really there to help. Mm -hmm. It's in my understanding that Earth is a free will planet, but it seems like this council sends you to things, sends you to difficult lives. Why is that? Learn. Become a better person. Mm -hmm. Is this working for her? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So why did they send her to this life in f as a nurse? They told her she was supposed to heal. Yeah. Did she do her job there? To a point. Mm -hmm. She let organization get in the way. Mm. So should she have let it flow a little bit more? Loosen up a little bit more? What does that mean? Flow, yes. Mm -hmm. 
So how is she doing now? She's doing good. Mm -hmm. What was the purpose of her being in this one? What is she supposed to be learning? laugh. Mm -hmm. Is she learning? Yeah. Mm -hmm. too, too organized. She is. Yeah. Well, she feels that sometimes she feels absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. that she wants to feel love and joy, and, mm -hmm. but she can't. She's blocked. What's blocking her? Uh, self-defense. Mm. So she's put up a, uh, a thick wall and a moat around her? Is that it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's causing this? Where did it start? Um, self-worth. Mm -hmm. Not being seen. in her childhood. Mm -hmm. Is she seen now as an adult? Or is she blocking to where nobody could see her behind those thick walls? She doesn't like being seen. Mm. Why is that? Afraid of judgment. Mm -hmm. Does it have anything to do with being burned at the stake? <laughs> Mm -hmm. I don't know. Does she need to be hiding from people anymore? No. Mm -hmm. So can we remove some of that? Can we disconnect from that life that caused her so much pain, knowing that people do make mistakes? And just because someone judges us for doing something that we don't need to destroy ourselves and keeps our help ourselves hidden? Mm -hmm. All right. So allow me now to do that exercise. I'm going to put my hand on her chest. And I want you to give me all of those feelings of doubt, of not being good enough, not wanting to be seen, being fearful of what other think, people think of you. Because you are unique. You are loved. And you have a lot of wonderful friends on the other side, knowing that this is just for a short period of time and you'll come back and be joyous. So let's get rid of all of this that's holding you down from being joyful and give it all to me. And tell me when I have it all. Oh, you've got it. All right, let's take it, send it to the universe. What would you like to put in there instead? Self-confidence. That's a lot of self-confidence. Feel it going through your heart, pumping through your cells. Feel it just blooming like a beautiful flower. That you are. And I'm going to tap your forehead and seal that in. Anything else you would like to put in there at this time? Peace and love. Lots of peace and love. Feel it going through. Feel that peace like a beautiful caressing blanket going through all of your body. Feeling so wonderful, so comforted, knowing that all is well. And seal that in. So now that we have released that, she likes to know how she can raise her vibration to ascend with Gaia. What can she do? Not worry. Not worry. Mm -hmm. What is she so worried about? She's getting better at that. Mm -hmm. What would you like to her, her to focus on instead of worry? Gratitude. Gratitude. So what's a good thing that she can do each day to bring in that vibration of gratitude? <laughs> Wake up and smile. Mm -hmm. She loves her dogs and her cats. They bring her happiness. Mm -hmm. And now knowing that she's got Fred with her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does Fred help her throughout the day? Yeah. Good. Good. She wishes to connect with her higher self on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. And meditation has always been difficult, mm -hmm. almost impossible. Mm -hmm. Very busy mind with mm -hmm. thoughts and music. 
What can she do to facilitate that connection even more? She's okay. Mm -hmm. Is she connecting with her higher self now? Does she do it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She just doesn't recognize it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So why the constant thoughts and music? What's the music? Where is that coming from? What is the music? Is she like a radio receiver? Picking up music from somewhere? I don't get anything with that. Mm -hmm. So let's see if we can find out the origin of that music. I'd like to bring in some of that music into your head. That tune that keeps going over and over. And let's find out where it's coming from. I want you to imagine yourself riding that wave of that music. And let's see who's playing that music. What do you see on the other side? <laughs> I am just riding this music staff. Mm -hmm. Keep going, let's see where it's coming from. It's coming from, um, it's coming from outer space. Mm -hmm. Keep going with it. Keep following that music. Well, I see that planet again. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Where is the music coming from? It's vibrating off the crystals. Mm. So it's the crystals that are sending you this music? Yeah. Mm. So what is this music reminding you of? It takes me away from... It takes me away. Hmm. It gets my attention off this life. Takes you back to that beautiful planet. I guess. Mm -hmm. So how now that Luann understands what these crystals are doing, how she's connecting with those crystals, that place she loves so much, where she feels so much joy, can we find out if perhaps Luann has already programmed herself to use these crystals to remind her of this joy. <laughs> yeah, very it makes my heart happy. Uh huh. Very good. Very good. So now, now that she understands that it makes her heart happy, does she have to say anything nasty about this music anymore? <laughs> And she associated with those crystals that are singing to her. She always thought she was being blocked. Mm. Now it's, it'll be happy. Very good. Because when she, she wants to be able to meditate more, can she connect with these crystals when she tries to meditate? Yeah. With this music? Yeah. Very good. So this is a good way for her to now meditate, is mm -hmm. just focus on that music? Mm -hmm. They're Very black good. crystals. Black crystals. Beautiful. Do they have their own consciousness? Yeah. Very good. So she could connect with them. Mm -hmm. Good. She'd like to be able to recognize her higher self when she's when it's communicating with her. What's the best way for the for her to know it's her higher self? She already knows that when when they're constructive happy thoughts it's from your higher self mm -hmm. and when it's the ego it's easy to tell the difference <laughs> so now that she's had this session and she's been communicating 
with his higher self? <laughs> Will she be able to know the difference between the uh, the ego telling her what she cannot do? She knows. She knows that. Good. Well, she says she wants to activate her third eye. Oh, yes. But she's afraid of the dark, mm -hmm. of seeing spirits. Mm -hmm. What's going on there? Why the fear of the dark? Huh? So what's in the dark? Is this something from this lifetime or a different lifetime? Um, no, it's a different lifetime. Mm -hmm. Would you show her pictures of that so that she can connect with it oh, gosh. and heal it? I just see the silliest thing. It's mm -hmm. a pirate ship. Mm -hmm. So what's happening with this pirate ship? What happens to cause the fear of the darkness? I don't know. Mm -hmm. So go even deeper and find out. Oh, it's got to be the ocean. Mm -hmm. What happens? What happens in that light to cause that fear? Oh, I'm getting... Oh, I, swords and... Mm, Nasty people and mm -hmm. fear and not a good scene. Not a good scene. Was she on that pirate ship? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What happened to her? Was she male or female? No, I was, I was, I was male, mm -hmm. and they wrapped me in something put rope around me and threw me overboard. Mm -hmm. What happened to you after you were thrown overboard? Where did your soul go? No, I don't think it went any place good. Mm -hmm. I just feel dark. Mm -hmm. So this dark soul where did it go? Did it ever go to the light? Did it ever go back home? I don't think so. I, I just feel dark. All right. So where do you feel this darkness in your, in I your feel, body? I feel my heart. Mm -hmm. So allow me to connect with this, with this soul. Allow me to bring that energy up, 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 up. Good afternoon. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? What happened to you after they threw you? Where did you go? Uh, what happened to your soul after they threw you overboard? I don't know. Mm hmm. I don't see anything. I just see shadows and. Mm hmm. So let's find out where you went to. What happened to you? Who did you see after you transitioned out of that body? Um, I'm seeing this Halloween type ghoul. Uh huh. And what did they tell you? Let's find out I'm if evil. you made an agreement with them. I'm evil. Mm hmm. They told you you're evil? That's what I heard. Mm hmm. Did you believe it? I don't think I am. Mm -hmm. Did they ask you to do something? Hate. Hate. Huh. So how did you find Luann? In her younger years. Mm -hmm. What was happening to her?
What was going on with Luann that allowed this hate to come inside? She wasn't being seen. Mm -hmm. And did you attach to her? Or have you been influencing her from afar? Oh, I feel it right now in my heart. Mm -hmm. So did you infiltrate yourself into her heart? Yeah. What did you do to her heart? How are you making her feel? It's hard. It's hard. What else do you feel? What are the feelings that you're giving her? Self-worth. Mm -hmm. Lack of self-worth? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that how you feel? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What may I call you? <laughs> uh, Fred. Mm -hmm. Do your name is Fred? Fred, mm. why didn't you go to the light after you transitioned out of your body? I was scared. Mm -hmm. Are you still scared? I don't know what's there. Mm -hmm. Well, Fred, would you like me to help you so you don't feel this lack of self-worth and hate anymore and anger? Yeah. All right. Inside of you, in your essence, there's a little white light, Fred. I want you to focus on that white light and tell me when you see it. Mm -hmm. All right, now Fred, make that light very big, as big as you are, and tell me what it feels like to fill yourself with that white light. Warm. Mm -hmm. That white light is from the Creator. This is the light that created you. Fred, this is who you are. How does that feel, knowing that you are part of the Creator, part of the light? It feels wonderful. Mm -hmm. Is there any need for you to continue being with Luann, making her heart feel the way it does? No. No. Have you been blocking her feelings all this time? It was easy. It was easy. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to release all of those blocks from her heart? Mm -hmm. All right, so go ahead and begin going through her body and releasing all of your influence, taking out that hardness, that darkness, and replacing it with that beautiful light that you are right now. Feel yourself pulling it out and filling it with your light. And tell me how it feels, Fred, to be able to do something for someone else. Feels great. Mm -hmm. What would you like to tell Luann about what you've done to her all this time? I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in, Luann. What would you like to tell Fred? Can you forgive him? Yeah. All right, so let's send him your love. And Fred, <clears throat> I want you to go ahead and use your light to go back to that bottom of the sea to find your body. And I want you to use that light to lift that body out of that bottom of the sea. And feel yourself being whole again. How does that feel? That feels wonderful. Mm -hmm. Very good. So now, Fred, I want you to go ahead through the top of her head right here. Archangel Michael is waiting for you. He'll take you by your hand and take you directly back to source, back to the love and the light back home. And tell me, Fred, when you get there. Okay. Is anybody there waiting for you? No. Well, I'm going to send a whole bunch of angels to accompany you. The angels of the white light. Fred, may the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much. Very good. So let me speak now again with the higher self. And let me know how that worked. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Very good. Were these the eyes that she was seeing when she was growing up, or was it different eyes? Mm 
What was she seeing at that time? Hmm. Not getting anything. Okay. Is there anything she needs to worry about now that she doesn't see them? No, it's okay. all done. Good. But when you activate her third eye, and she's able to see more mm -hmm. beyond the veil, what can she do so that she doesn't have that fear? Trust. Very good. Trust. Thank you so much. She says that she wants to help release her baggage, honor her experiences, but mm -hmm. release the emotions of shame, etc. She says she's relives too many painful memories, even trying to work through them and forgive. What's been keeping her from not allowing to release? Was that Fred or something else? Yeah, it was her inability to, to love herself. Mm -hmm. So now that we've done this exercise, would you take a look at her heart and see how it's looking? It's glowing. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Now, she says that a palm reader told her that she is here to serve, mm -hmm. but nothing resonates with her. What's going on? She's afraid of... Um going to um, places where there would be entities because mm -hmm. she feels lots of times that her heart or her her body and her heart are too open mm -hmm. well it seems to me that Fred had it pretty close didn't he was he spooking her about this he was spooking her mm-hmm so he was doing what the pirates were actually doing too, yeah. being bullies. And so now that she understands that it was Fred doing all of this, is there any? Should she have any fear of going to places? What can she do to eliminate this fear? She can protect herself. Mm -hmm. Would you give her a good method to protect herself? It would be the white light. The white light. So she can wear her white light condom when she goes out? <laughs> yeah. All right, good. So let's get that image going. Yeah. Okay. Does she have any other entities that are bothering her? Or was Fred the major attraction? I think it was just Fred. Mm -hmm. it was, okay, very good. So, she also says that every once in a while she wakes up in a panic, wondering where her rings are. Yeah. What are these rings? What life is that one for? They're not real rings. Ah, what do they signify? Ties. To Ties. something. Mm hmm So, let's find out. What is it that she was tied to? Um, obedience. Obedience. Hmm. Where did this come from? Was this from the surf? <sighs> or something else? I don't know. So let's take her to that moment right before she wakes up. I want you to see yourself right before you wake up and let's find out where you are or you're missing these rings. I am in a kingdom. Mm -hmm. I see a castle. Mm -hmm. I mean more. Are you male or female there? Um, I'm, I'm female. Mm -hmm. I see, uh, you know, a king on a throne. I almost feel like my fingers were chopped off. Mm -hmm. For what purpose?
Let's find out what you did. So, I heard I told lies. Mm -hmm. Was it true? Did you lie about something? Yes. Mm -hmm. What did you lie about? Stealing. Mm -hmm. And what happens when one steals? To pay the consequences. Mm -hmm. So let's find out how that is affecting you in this lifetime. What's the trauma? What's the fear? Being found out. Mm -hmm. Does this have anything to do with your spirituality? I think so. Mm -hmm. Wondering, wondering if you're genuine. Mm -hmm. Do we need to keep that memory of having your fingers chopped off no. anymore? No. All right. So let's go ahead and allow yourself to disconnect from that life. Imagine it's a little boat tied to a pier. And I want you to go ahead and remove that rope and allow that life to just drift away, not needing that experience in this lifetime anymore knowing that in this lifetime you make a choice and you don't need to be reminded of that trauma, of that mistake from that lifetime in this one. So allow yourself to forgive yourself for holding on to that, knowing that you are always safe, there is nothing to fear. And allow yourself to just release all of that memory along with that book. And let me ask the higher self if there's anything else that you would like to say about about that. Good riddance. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. Who was that man that was standing beside her one night? She seems to have seen someone that reminded her of the skater in Charles Dickens. Guide? A guide. Hmm. What was he there telling her or doing for her? Was he just watching her? Hmm. Who was that guide? Hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Is he still her guide? No. No. So it was just someone temporarily there helping her? Yeah. Okay, good. She was told through her natal astrological chart that she has no connection with Earth and she is meant to lead. Is this true? Yeah. Okay, so where is she from? Is she from Orion? Or is this one of the places she's from? Yeah, it's one of the places. Mm -hmm. So how is she meant to lead in this lifetime? Be the light. Be the light. Now, by being the light, does that influence other people? Yeah. Okay. So by being the light, she really doesn't have to be anything, does she? No, she does a great job already. Mm-hmm. Just be the best, Luann. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Honor people. Honor them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. So, is there any planet or race um, that she is connected to that c 
could influence her today? Pleiades. The Pleiades. Hmm. Can you tell me about that lifetime? What, how is it influencing her now? Uh, she's getting ready. She's getting ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is for an ascension? Or contact? Something else. Contact. Contact. Okay. Does she have Pleiadian family or friends? I didn't get an answer on that. Okay. Very good. So I guess they don't want her knowing on that one. Um, is she with anybody in her soul group right now? No. No. She's on her own. Mm-hmm. Okay. Was it meant to be like this? Yeah. Mm-hmm. No karma with anybody to work on? Just herself. Just herself. Good. And why is it that she relates to animals? It has so many cats and dogs. They are open and they love. It's easy. Mm -hmm. Are they kind of like her teachers? Or her reminders to be open? Uh, companions. Companions. Okay, good. Do any of them have any messages for her? she knows. Good. Now she asked who her guides were. Now we know it. Fred is one of them. Fred. Mm -hmm. Is that her main, her main guy? Oh. It appears that way. Mm -hmm. Does Fred have anything else to tell, tell her today? Fred sends me love. Mm -hmm. Good. Sends me love all the time. I can feel it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'd like to thank Fred for his continued support at this time. She asks about her re re uh, career. She's retired and she's not contemplating a career at this point. But she's been playing music. The harp has proven to be difficult. Should she continue playing the harp? Does it resonate with her? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she says that she, the teacher that she had, she wasn't able to really learn what she needed to learn. What would you like to tell her about what she should be doing with that harp? The teacher was a reflection of her frustration. Uh, mm -hmm. She needs to do it just for herself. Okay. Don't make anybody else happy, make herself happy? Yeah. Okay, good. Can I ask on her behalf for a guide that will play the harp with her? Mm. Yeah, that would be happy. Wonderful, good. And her health. She came here already with a little bit of pressure on her temples. What's causing this? Why does she have this pressure? She had it during her last session too. What is that? It is still doubt. It's doubt. Mm -hmm. And it's not as bad. Does she need to have that doubt there? Does she create it? She creates it. Mm -hmm. Does and she need it? It's to? debilitating. Okay. Can we work on that today? Yeah. All right. So. Luann, I want you to make yourself really tiny, as tiny as you can. And let's go inside of your head and see what it is that you've created in there. What does this doubt look like? What color is it? What form does it take? It's gray mist. Great. 
gray mist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now we can use different tools to get rid of this mist, or we can use something to transform it into something else, something that would benefit you. Because since you created this gray mist, this doubt, it's best to transform it because we can't get rid of something that you as a creator has created. Mm -hmm. So let's transform it into something else. Instead of this gray mist, mm -hmm. what would you like to transform it into to help you, to assist you? Um, warm, cold and light, like honey. Mm -hmm. And what would that cold and light and honey help you with? It would relax my head. Wonderful. Would it give you any courage? Would it give you any confidence? What would it do instead of giving you doubt? Instead of doubt, what would you like it to be? Let's give it another roll. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Would you like it to be courage? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's associate the color of a lion with that golden mm -hmm. color. So go ahead and begin using something, a light, to transform that gray mist into that beautiful golden honey color of a lion. Someone who has courage, but someone who can also be warm and loving. A children who takes time to rest. But when she is on track with something, motivated to play the harp or do anything she wants, she can dash out like a lion and take all of her energy and put it into that. <coughs> <coughs> so tell me what you can transformed into that. Tell me when you see that as golden color now. <clears throat> and allow that to relax all of the muscles, all of the arteries, <clears throat> all the veins in the head. Allow that beautiful, soothing golden color to just soothe it. knowing that at any moment you can use your courage. Okay. Very good. So, I'd like to ask the Higher Self to do a body scan and let's see what else we find. I don't get anything. Very good. So I'll, I'll ask then about her cataract mm -hmm. lens surgery in December. Is it possible to heal her lens and forego the surgery? No. No. She was kind of hoping she would get it healed. What would you like to tell her? Is this something that she needs to go through for a reason? Very good. So I'd like to ask on her behalf to let's call in the non-physical physicians and Archangel Raphael. And I'd like you all to begin working on her lens using your beautiful light and the ingenuity of these non-physical beings to begin working on them. Allow that sensation to begin feeling that in your eyes as they begin to work on it. And I'd like for them to continue working while she sleeps so that we can begin healing that and we can get the ego out of the way.
the scared ego. Would you take a look at her hips and tell me what's going on? It's it's warm, mm -hmm. red. Okay, it's warm and red. Warm, warm and, and red. red. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it inflamed? Yeah, I, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what's in that hip. I'd like for you to go inside of that hip and see what's going on with it. What's causing it? Oh, I do see some black stuff in there. Ah, all right. So where is this black stuff coming from? It's between her... It's between the joints. All right. So would you allow me to speak with that darkness? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to bring it up, 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 up. Good afternoon. Mm. Are you male or female energy? I get Gail. Gail. Gail, what are you doing in there? I'm happy. You're happy. Gail, did you ever have a body? Yeah. Yeah. How old are you, Gail? One. One. What happened to you, Gail? Why did you lose your body? Car accident. A car accident. How did you get hurt, Gail? No car seat. No car seat. So, what year is this, Gail? 1954. 1954. And what was the part of your body that got injured first? Or the most? Oh, my torso. Your torso. Mm -hmm. Is it still hurting, Gail? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gail, would you like to make yourself feel better? Yeah. So you don't hurt? All yeah. right, Gail, even though you're very small, you have that little light inside of you, that light from the source, the one that created you. Make that light bigger and allow it to take over your entire body. And tell me how that feels. How does that feel, Gail? I don't feel that she's doing it. Mm -hmm. Gail, why don't you want to do this? Happy. You're happy. Do you know this soul from another lifetime? No. No. Then why is it that you don't want to go home? Safe. You're safe but I can make you feel even safer. Do you want me to help you? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna call in my angels, Gail. My angels are the white light and they're going to surround you, Gail. And tell me how it feels to have their energy all around you. It's sparkly. Mm-hmm. You have that sparkly light inside of you. While they're around you, they're gonna watch as you make your light bigger. How does that feel now? Oh, good. Good. Now, Gail, I'm going to have you go inside of her hip and begin removing all of that darkness from there. Send it light. Send it light with the angels. How does that feel to be able to help somebody? Really good. Good. Very good. Gail, are you ready to go home now? Yeah. Very good. What would you like to tell Loanne before you leave? Mm -hmm. Luann, do you forgive her for giving you so much discomfort? Yeah. Very good. So go ahead, Gail, up to the top of her head. Archangel Michael is there. And you and Michael and all of the angels are going to go straight home now. And tell me, who's there? My dad. Your dad. How's it feel to be with your dad again? Mm. Wonderful. Very good. Gail, may the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much. And now I'd like Archangel Raphael to go ahead and begin putting in that soothing light into that hip and begin the repair, allowing it to feel lubricated, light. Let's allow all of that healing to begin.
Very good. <clears throat> so now I'd like to ask about the, um, let's see, the pain in the upper right back shoulder. She feels it when she is playing the harp. Mm. It's tense, tenseness. What is this tenseness? She's on edge, on guard, protecting herself. Mm -hmm. Was this her or was it the influence that she had that was causing it? What's causing this tenseness? Was it from a past life? No, it was Fred. It was Fred, okay. So Fred was causing a lot of this nonsense, wasn't he? Yeah. All right. So, can we go ahead and begin sending that beautiful light into her back? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm To her shoulders. And continue working with her throughout the night so that she feels this beautiful sensation. Good. Well, how is her aura and chakras? Are they okay? Aura's okay. Mm hmm What chakras are out of alignment? I want, I want to say root. Mm -hmm. All right, so can we begin aligning that, please? Mm -hmm. And tell me when you're done. Done. Good. Is there anything that I could have asked that I didn't that you would like to tell her at this time? She feels alone. Mm -hmm. She's very loved. Okay. She just has to remember that. Mm -hmm. well, she's got her buddies that slap her on the back each time she comes back. What a good thought that is. Uh huh. So can you leave her with that thought mm -hmm. of knowing that Fred, her guide, her monk, is always there with her? Mm -hmm. And that her buddies are always there and her council loves her? Mm -hmm. And Source sits at that seat always accompanying her? Yeah. Thank you. Anything else that you would like to give her a final message to take home with her? No. Good. Very good. Thank you so much for Wide your awake, feeling wonderful all over. Wow. <laughs> that was wonderful. Oh my God, those guys. <laughs> <laughs> they were so awesome. It was just such happiness. Yeah. That was great. Yeah. How long do you feel this was? Ah, uh, 45 minutes. Yeah, it's an hour and 45 minutes. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, my God. So, do you think you were hypnotized? Um, <laughs> at first, I didn't, but then I just, um, I just said, allow, allow, yeah. allow, allow, whatever comes, yeah. no matter how stupid or silly. You did um, great. It, there was some silly stuff there, stupid stuff there. That was, and I'm thinking, that's what came to that's me. What, that's what it was for. I had to do that. But it was know. great. All of it. Once you listen to it, I, you'll understand it's um, all there. What's with the name Fred? Hey, <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes. Oh, my God. All right. That was awesome. Isn't that good? I'm so happy. I'm okay. very happy. Good. Yeah. Good. Is this something you want to keep personal? You want to share? Or what do you feel? No, no obligation. That, well, it's got to be pretty boring. It's up to you. No, I you don't. Know. I don't mind sharing, but um, if you don't feel you don't want to, don't. We, we won't. I I ask you in case yeah. you want to. That some people, most of mine are personal. I, I don't think is there was there an, anything really personal there. No. No. You went back and forth. You went to different lives. And I know. It was oh, just God, that was so much. Fun fun with those with those guys oh right God. and just rolling through the, the atmosphere or whatever right. it was just going back to the crystal planet being so happy and laughing and right hmm, I'm not like that in life well you need to be more of that because mm. that's who you really are yeah and those that those that music that you hear in your ears all the time are the crystals it, and you know I could see it coming could you see any of that <laughs> I imagine all of it in my mind but you know uh, it's just I could see it coming from the crystals. Yeah. That makes me feel so much better. Yeah. You have no idea. That's really been bugging me. Well, now you understand. Do you yeah. see it differently now? Yeah. I see a lot of stuff differently. Great. You did great. So Thank share you. it or not? Uh, uh, we can share. Okay. As long as, you know, anything that you think. I don't think there was anything there. I don't think so either. You know? Except for Fred. Wow. 
Fred was, and you know, Fred was cool. And Gail, I could really see. She did not want to leave. I could really see that darkness in there, though. Okay. And you know, you. I decided not to second guess myself mm -hmm. and just go with whatever came. Yeah, and that made it. It made a huge difference. Really good. <laughs> so how did it go for you? Oh my God, it was it was like everybody says, it's awesome, mm -hmm. really awesome. Yeah. Um, you can't second guess yourself. You have to go with what you get, no matter how silly it is. Even no that. matter, even you don't even think it's real, yeah. and you're just you pulling it out of the sky. <laughs> you know, and that's what it feels like. You're pulling it out of the sky. Yeah, yeah. But um, I'll tell you, my happy guys. Made me feel so happy. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, it was really That's wonderful. great. I, I, this is wonderful. I, I had to pinch myself. I couldn't believe I actually got to see you. Yeah. So, <laughs> so how far have you traveled? Um, from New Hampshire, from New England. It's, it's not bad. Not I, bad I at recommend all. it to everybody. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's like getting on a plane. So you have had, you've been hypnotized before. Three times. Three yeah. times. So tell everybody what that experience, what, what differed. I didn't feel like I had to perform this time. Mm -hmm. I felt like I had to perform. Um, I was pressured to perform. Yeah. Um, I just went with it, and 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 what they tell you is true. The more you talk, and it just comes. It just <laughs> and you're going. Where is this coming from? Truly. Yeah. yeah. Um, so now you understand. Yeah. Now you can explain it to other people. Yeah. Don't Did it feel natural to you? It was very natural. So a lot of people think that hypnosis is sleep, that I you have to be that. deep. So what, yeah. was, what was the difference between what you thought it was and what you found that it was? Um, I wasn't as relaxed as I thought I should be, mm -hmm. and the stuff was still coming. <laughs> um, yeah. That was that was a revelation yeah. right there. Yeah. You, you were... I know I, I could probably go deeper and maybe get some more because there were some things I, I know I couldn't get, just got blanks. Mm -hmm. But you know, that will come. I'm not, I'm happy with what happened. That's great. Yeah. That's great. So you recommend this experience? Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> I am so lucky. I just, I just can't believe it. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, so if you. you if you want an experience like this so with me, go to my website, albaweinman.com. And I do travel all around the world. If you want to know where I'll be traveling to next, go to my out-of-town page, go all the way to the bottom, sign up for my newsletter. It comes out about once a month, and it tells you where I'll be traveling to next. Uh, the sessions are very limited. I'm not there very long, so I could only see a few people. But once you, that l newsletter comes out, you click on the link, and it'll tell you um, if you could book a session. So thank you for watching this. I enjoyed it very much. I know you did. <laughs> yeah, and I, did. Uh, I hope to see you sometime soon. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye. <laughs> oh